guys, Steve here, and today I'm in Train Sim World 2. I am on the London Underground at Oxford Circus, and I'm going to be taking a London Underground trip somewhere. <laughs> I haven't read the manual, so this is all going to be a surprise, and I'm quite looking forward to this, a new game for the channel, and, well, it'll certainly be interesting to play something different for a change. So I'm going to press E to begin. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down. Oh, okay. Interesting. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. Ah, I can move around. <laughs> Let's have a loady. Follow the markers to the northbound platform. Wouldn't be enough. Marker. Yeah. It didn't feel very realistic walking up them steps. You couldn't hear any uh, footsteps. Is interesting. If you require assistance at any time, feel free to contact a member of station staff or use a help point. Hey! This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Mind the gap. Please take care when getting on and off the train. Follow the markers to the northbound platform. So I'm just timing it. The train coming in. Further. Wait for the train. The next northbound train will arrive shortly. Enter the lead carriage. Train to Queen's Park. Seat. <laughs> we call you can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. Okay. Follow the marker to the staff door. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. Okay. A heads up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Okay. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Okay. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu. Okay. 
for a more challenging experience. Okay. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. All right. The Bakerloo line runs for just 15 miles. Great control. But along that length, it connects the suburbs of Harrow, the affluent districts of Maida Vale and Marlebone, oh. and famous places such as Baker Street, Oxford Street, and Piccadilly Circus. The trains that operate are the oldest on the network, taking their name from the year they were introduced, 1972 Tube Stop. They feature seven carriages in four plus three configuration. Not quite sure what kind of speed you should be doing, but we'll uh, just take it easy for now, just while some learning controls. Looks like 30 mile an hour is the speed. No. Congratulations. This is just the beginning of your experience. There is much more to be explored. Welcome to the London Underground. Join the ranks to keep millions of annual passengers moving between the suburbs and world-famous locations throughout central London. Take to the controls of the oldest tube trains on the network and convey commuters from residential to commercial districts across the city. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, repair platform monitors, put up posters and restock newspaper dispensers. <laughs> this is the Bakerloo line. Okay. So that's the uh, tutorial completed. So, uh, what happens now then? So, I'm guessing I can now start a new trip essentially and Continue life on the underground now. Welcome to your first day on the Bakerloo line of the London Underground. Here you will be taken through a brief introduction on operating the 1972 tube stop that operate on this line. During this session, you'll be taken through the startup procedure, critical driving controls, and passenger operations at several stations. Head over to the indicated train and climb aboard to get started. Follow the markers onto the train. Okay. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Okay. The control switch activates the train for operation. The direction selector determines the direction of travel. Ah, right, okay, that's handy to know. Set it to enter. There we go. This train features a combined power brake handle. Set this as indicated to begin the startup procedure. Data to brake brake the traction brake control. Okay.
We have one hold. The train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce component stress and maintenance requirements. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Stop the front of the train on the green section of the marker. Nice. Wow, they slow down quite quickly, these trains. It's good to know, anyway. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Loading passengers. Oh, no, now close the doors. Get going. The train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin moving. The next station on the line is Kilburn Park, where we will perform a passenger stop. Nice so far, this. Quite enjoying this. That is. Going into the tube now. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Further. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. All good. Okay. 
It's time to get going. Set the doors to locks. Alright, there's two lots of, lots of controls at the doors, okay. Proceed to the next stop at Maida Vale, unguided this time, and see how you get on. Would help you set the train to the correct uh, direction, wouldn't it? There we go. In time, I will become a good London Underground driver, pretty sure. Next signal's green, which is nice. Although you guys can't see it because the uh, webcam's in the way. Wonder where to put it. I might have to put it to uh, somewhere else. Uh, 30 mile an hour is section in just over 450 yards. So, might have to put it a bit further down towards the middle of the screen on the left or the right, I suspect, so you can see all the uh, controls and all the uh, HUD. to break a bit later. Let's have a look around to see uh, what's going on. Okay. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Hmm. Nice. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end this uh, video here. Not a stream, a video. Apologies. Uh, I will be back soon with more Train Sim World content. Uh, coming up later on this evening, I will have an OMSI 2 video. And I will be taking a trip from somewhere in London I've not decided where yet but it will be on the above ground in London that I'll be taking a route probably from one place to another because they are quite long so I expect this video probably to be about 45 50 minutes something like that but for now guys thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with more content